So patch 1.43 went live tonight. And let's just say it caused a ripple effect with many things. And I don't know what's going on, but season four seems to be the season of issues. And how unfortunate for the Diablo 4 dev teams and Blizzard with such a season that's going so well. It seems like every time they do a patch update that there's something that goes awry once the update is loaded up into the game. So let's look into what's transpired so far. So, like I stated today, it was announced that patch 1.4.3 is now live. There's a lot of balance updates that we covered in a previous video. But as you can see here, as soon as it was posted, there was a ton, and I mean a ton of responses on issues that were going on, people experiencing crashes and all kinds of problems. However, the one I wanna focus in on was immediately people started seeing issues with the Holy Bolt Elixir. So here's basically the details of what transpired. So patch 1.4.3 is now live, bringing several gameplay updates with it, including a rework of season four most popular Elixir, the Elixir of Holy Bolts. However, soon after the launch of the patch, a bug was discovered where this Elixir that caused crashes after use. So people were using, were using the Holy Bolt Elixir and their game was crashing. So in response, as soon as Blizzard caught wind of this, they just disabled the Elixir's power altogether. And as of the recording of this video, it still has been disabled. Now you can use it, but there's no power that you get from using it. And here is the official response from blizzard we are seeing some crashes come from the holy bolt elixir power for now we're going to disable the power on this players can still consume the elixir while this is happening but we recommend to not use these as you will have no power associated with it with this we are investigating the crashes and will work on a fix asap Blizzard is currently looking into the issues, likely not to receive a hotfix in, and is likely to receive, sorry, uh, a hotfix in the near future. Of course, we'd recommend players save their hard earned elixir of holy bolts. So holy bolts drop in game randomly, and you can also buy, uh, purchase elixir of holy bolts with obols. Uh, so they are very hard-earned and valuable. Uh, luckily, there's no shortage of alternate elixirs available to use in the meantime. And that's a comment from Wowhead um, being positive, of course. Okay, so the patch dropped today and it's been, again, it looks like every patch update to the game uh in season four, like I said in my opening monologue, seems to cause other issues. I don't know what's going on. Um, it really bodes the question, how much testing do they do before they do updates to the game? Now, I know you can't always capture everything, but uh, this is getting a little bit out of hand and it's impacting certain players. Now, it's I would imagine it's a small percentage, but there are players that just, they've had enough of all these problems that are being introduced to the game when updates are done to the game. So anyway, we'll see what the long-term effect of it is. This is really just affecting the one elixir. Uh, other than that, I have heard nothing but praise and good news and people are having a lot of fun with the updates. Uh, if you are not aware, outside of the class balance changes, uh, there has been probably the biggest change outside of that is the fact that the pit bosses and the bosses in general, their health and damage dealt has been reduced, which is getting a lot of praise from a lot of people. Okay, so that's the patch. What else is happening? I just want to reframe kind of like the time frame of what's happening in the next little bit when it comes to Diablo 4. 
So we got the patch today, June 21st. This Friday is the campfire chat with the introduction of the PTR and season five. So the next campfire chat begins on June 21st, 11 a.m. PDT and gives us a preview of our season five public test realm. Join associate director of community, Adam Fletcher, lead season designer, Daniel Tange, and lead live class designer, Adam Jackson, as they reveal what to expect in the season five PTR. Now, ch my chat and I were having a discussion about whether or not this was going to, the PTR was going to be expanded. So the first PTR for season four was only for Battle.net users. So we were discussing whether or not they were going to change that dynamic. Well, we now have confirmation that they're not. This season five PTR will only be for Battle.net users again. <laughs> really um console players are going to be upset again and i would argue that that is the their biggest player base pool comes from the console but anyway we will we'll also detail how to access the ptr and diablo 4 available to pc battlenet users so there we go we have confirmation it's only battlenet this ptr ptr allows you to get your first taste of the changes coming in our next season during the ptr we'll listen close to your feedback in order to make adjustments before the season arrives for all and that leads me to my next talking point so june 21st is the campfire chat we're going to be told what season five and what to expect for the ptr now when is the ptr going to happen so we know season four ends august 6th so Typically, they, like this just said, they want to be able to closely review our feedback. Typically, Season 4 PTR was approximately four weeks before Season 4 started. And the PTR was a week in duration. So I'm suggesting to you, since Season 5 will start August 6th, August 7th, or uh, sorry, August 6th, that the actual PTR testing will either be the last week of june or the first week of july that will maintain a minimum four week time frame before season five begins therefore allowing the diablo 4 devs enough time to receive the feedback review it and make any fine tune or changes that they want to make so i'm going to suggest to you that this friday on the 21st of june they're going to let us know. And I would imagine last week of June, first week of July is when the PTR and Battle.net users on PC will be able to do the PTR testing. Okay, so that's the PTR. That's season five. Other, uh, high, other dates that are important when it comes to Diablo 4. Obviously, October 8th is the Vessel of Hatred expansion. And we'll get into that more as we get closer to that date. However, I do want to remind everybody on July 18th, mark your calendars, the new class Spiritborn Showcase Reveal Stream is going to happen. They are going to reveal and give us the first look at the new class never seen before in any Diablo game, the Spiritborn. There's going to be a Spiritborn Showcase Stream on July 18th. Make sure you mark the calendars. As soon as we get more details and specifics around that reveal, I'll let you know. Anyway, that's everything happening in Diablo 4, everybody. Just wanted to give you a quick recap on what's happening and what's coming down the pipe in the very near future. Anyway, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Help grow our channel. A lot of you watch my content and do not subscribe. I would appreciate you subscribe to my channel it helps my channel immensely and we want to grow and get bigger and better because we got a lot of things that we want to do so your support would mean the world to me and don't forget to hit the to hit the bell so you get alerted every time i drop new content and you can check be the first ones to check it out it would mean the world to me and if you want to come and discuss anything diablo 4 or to be honest with you, any ARPG, 
MMO survival game, video games, period. Come check me out. I stream every evening on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I typically go live around 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. Sammy Caps is the channel name. Love to have you. Come and say hello. Let's have a chat. Let's have a debate. Whatever you're in the mood for, I'll be there. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.